Hello guys, welcome to my channel Civilology, the study of civil engineering. Today in this video, we are going to learn how to find invert levels. And in this video, we will also learn how to find slope or levels at mid intervals of the pipes and how many pipes will be required, that is how much length of pipes will be required for a specific distance. Okay, so this video is going to be very important. You are all requested. Please watch complete video for better understanding of the topic. And if you are new to my channel, please subscribe it and press the bell icon to get video updates. So let's start our today's topic. So let's uh, assume that we have two segments of pipes, the length of which is too long so that we will have to provide manholes between these two segments of the pipelines. Let's assume that we provide the this is the starting point or you can say the first point of the or you can say the first manhole. This is the second manhole and the this is, then there is third manhole and the center to center distance of these manholes are given as 70 feet. Okay, and this is manhole number one. This is manhole number two and this is manhole number three and invert level of manhole is given to us which is 506.99 okay and first of all we will find the pipe lengths and rds as you can see over here the distance given to us is is from center to center of the manhole but the length of pipe is not given so we will have to calculate the length of the pipes and rds assume that this is the start point of your project or start point of your sewer line okay so this is zero zero the reduced distance is zero zero and the center of the next manhole will be equal to 70 feet as the center to center distance of manholes is given as 70 feet the distance of third manhole is given as 140 feet so the rd over here is 140 feet uh, as we know that the uh, dia of manhole is uh, given as 2.5 feet and as you can see over here this is the diameter of the manhole so the radius will be equal to 1.25 feet okay so this is the radius okay this is the radius so rd at point 0.1 what will be the reduced distance at this point uh, by uh, point one means where the first segment ends uh, and where it enters into manhole number two so what will be the reduced distance at this point this is necessary to find the uh, length uh, length pipe length because we will have to calculate the number of uh, pipes okay so it is very important to learn the length of the pipe and the reduced distances at the start and end of the manholes okay so what will be the rd over here so it is it will be equal to 70 minus 1.25 as the total distance is 70 from the center of this manhole to the center of this manhole and the radius is one per so this distance will be deducted 1.25 distance will be deducted we will get the rd of this point which is 68.75 similarly we can calculate the rd at point 2 what will be the reduced distance at this point this is the start of the second stack segment of the pipelines so it will be equal to as that rd is 70 over here if we add this 1.25 in this 70 distance we will get the rd at this distance which is 71.25 okay i hope you are getting my point so now what will be the pipe length pipe length will be equal to 70 70 feet if you look over here the total length is 70 feet and if we subtract this 1.25 and this 1.25 we will get the center of the pipes or you can say the center length of the pipes between two manholes which comes out to be 67.5 feet okay so uh, if we talk about the second segment what will be the end rd or you can say the rd at point number three it will be equal to 71.25 as we have reached over here and the distance is 71.25 
if we add 67.5 in it it will be equal to 138.75 so at the start of the third manhole the reduced distance reduced distance is the distance which is taken from a, some reference point as we as the reference point is over here which is 0.00, .00 so the distance or you can say the length of the pipe when it reaches the third manhole it will be equal to 138.75 so that's how you can calculate the pipe lengths if the diameter of the manhole is known to us okay so let's proceed to the next step so the next point is to find the invert levels invert level is the level at which water enters into the pipe without any obstruction or without any resistance okay so we'll have to find the invert levels of these manholes as over here the invert level of first manhole is given which is 506.99 okay so what will be the invert level of second manhole and invert level of third manhole so for this you will need to know the slope given this slope is usually given in the drawings of the drainage and sewage system uh, over here let's suppose we assume the slope which is 0 0.0045 and its direction is rightward okay the flow should be in right uh, direction so the arrows shows the direction and 0 0.0045 is the slope okay so how can you calculate the invert level of manhole number two if the level invert level of manhole number one is given it's very simple guys uh, as you can see over here this is the invert level okay uh, this is the invert level of the manhole uh, this is the lean concrete over which you will have to lay the pipes okay so this is very important to learn it is very simple if you know the invert level of first manhole which is 506.99 simply subtract the product of slope and distance as you can see over here the slope is 0 0.0045 and the distance is 67.5 okay you will get 506.68 okay so this is the invert level of the second manhole and invert level at 2 will be same this is the invert level at this distance okay this is the invert level of this pipe as you can see over here as you uh, in this picture this is the invert level of this pipe okay similarly the the, the second statement uh, segment is starting over here starting from here it will be on the same level as the lean provided is on the same level so the pipe starts and ends from here will have the same invert level so at point 2 the invert level will be same which is 506.68 okay as a whole the invert level of the base of the manhole will be 506.68 now let's find the invert level at point number 3 or you can say let's find the invert level of this manhole okay invert level at 3 will be equal to 506.68 as we are uh, we have calculated the invert level of this manhole which is 506.68 now we are proceeding rightward okay we are going in the rightward direction and we have calculated the invert level up to point number 2 and now we are proceeding and traveling the distance of 67.5 feet to reach this point number 3 okay so the distance traveled is 67.5 and the slope is 0 0.005 and the invert level of previous or uh, the manhole number 2 is 506.68 so applying this formula we will get the invert level of third manhole which is 506.37 okay so actually these are the invert levels of bottom of the pipelines okay invert levels of bottoms or you can say the invert levels of manholes but the problem arises and as now we have calculated the invert level of manhole number two and invert level of uh, of manhole number three but the problem arises you will have to when you lay down the pipes as you can see over here when you are laying down the pipes you will need to calculate the distance uh, levels at random distances 
for example if the length of a pipe is 8 feet so you will have to calculate the levels at every 8 feet and that level will be read on the top of the pipes okay because you cannot read the levels beneath the pipes or inside the pipes you will have to place the staff rod on top of the pipes okay so let's let me tell you how can you find the levels at random distances let's suppose we have to find the invert level of this pipe at 8 feet okay which will be the bottom first we will calculate the bottom levels then i will tell you how can you calculate the top level of the pipe okay uh, let's suppose we are calculating at 8 feet same formula will be applied as we are proceeding from uh, this direction towards right direction as the slope is rightward okay so as over here the invert level is 506.99 and at 8 feet from main hole number one the slope will be 0.0045 multiplied by distance that is how much distance you are traveling in the direction of the slope simply subtract this product as you can see over here in the bracket you will subtract this product from the previous non level which is 506.99 and it will come out 506.945 this is the bottom level of the pipe at 8 feet similarly if you want to calculate at 32 feet the same formula will be applied that is 50 now the distance is 32 feet from main hole number 1 and the level of the main hole is 506.99 simply subtract this product that is slope multiplied by distance you will get the level at 32 feet which is 506.846 similarly you can calculate for the number of distances as you can as you want to okay so this is the simple formula this is the product of slope and distance and should be subtracted from the previous non level i hope you are getting my point now uh, as I told you before, you will have to read the levels uh, or you will have to place the staff rod on the top of the pipes so that you can adjust the alignment and levels of the pipe as you cannot place the staff, uh, staff rod inside or beneath the pipe. Okay, So you will have to find the top levels of the pipes. It's very simple as the distance we have calculated at 8 feet which is 506.954. So at distance at 8 feet distance pipe type uh, top level will be equal to 506.944 plus 1 feet. Now this 1 feet is the diameter of the pipe. This 1 feet is diameter of the pipe plus this thickness of the pipe should be added. If the thickness of the pipe is 1 inches it will be equal to 0.083 feet and you will get the top level of the pipe at 8 feet distance simply you will have to add this factor which is the diameter of the pipe and thickness of the rcc pipe okay you will you can get or uh, you can calculate the number uh, the levels at any random distances okay so now coming towards how can you calculate the number of pipes required it's very simple again let's say length of a pipe is 8 feet the length of a single pipe if the length of a, this pipe is 8 feet okay and the distance to be uh, com calculated or the distance to be covered by the pipe is 67.5 as we have calculated in the previous steps it is 67.5 simply divide this distance by standard length which is 8 feet you will get the number of pipes 8.43 okay if uh, you can say it is 8.5 feet okay so this distance can be adjusted in the main hole it can be shorter or longer to adjust the lengths between two segments or three segments or whatever how much segments you are having so these are some basic points by following which you can find the levels at any uh, any distances uh, you can find invert levels at any positions so this is the simple method i hope you have understand the whole topic for new videos you are requested to please subscribe the channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to get video updates that's all for today